was I at? I was looking for the charcuterie board that was supposed to be here an hour ago. No, they were fine when I left them. That was 15 minutes ago. What do you mean there's been a full meltdown since? Yeah, okay, sure, whatever. I'll take care of it. I'll handle it. But, like, you guys really need to learn to handle this stuff on your own. I cannot be everywhere at once. Hi. You were fine when I left you. What happened? Okay, okay, um, hold, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, okay. Do me a favor, deep breath in. And out. Okay. Okay, deep breath in again. And out. Okay. I think we're gonna go one more time just for, you know, reasons. Deep breath in. Okay. Now tell me what happened. That's not possible. Well, no, you're wearing a custom piece. How would your in-law even know? What, do they have a man on the inside or something? Wait, okay, so your in-law showed up in the same exact. Well, that's completely unacceptable. No, I'm gonna fix this. Don't you worry. Or no, I'm gonna ruin their entire day. No, you don't have to stop that. Don't feel bad about it. They've, this has been coming for a long time now. I just finally have the excuse. Man, they've been treating you terribly for so long. Okay, so. Who is your clumsiest? Bridesmaid, and your most frat boy of Grimsman. Oh yeah, I can work with them. Hey, can I get Bridget and Kevin in you, please? What do you mean Kevin is icing himself? That's not even how that works. <sighs> Whatever, just get them in here. They just leave you alone? Back. Don't worry, I'll handle that too. Yeah. Hi guys. You just left him? Oh, you have things to do, I'm sure. Kevin, why were you- that's not how- You know what, never mind. I mean, I guess you're right, someone has to get the party started, but there are so many better ways to do that than icing yourself. Okay, moving right on. Um. Did you two know that the in-laws showed up in the exact same thing? You were made aware of that. Okay, cool. So, Bridget, here's what we're gonna need from you. I need you to go get a glass of red wine, please. I don't care that they're not serving it yet. All you have to do is tell them that it's a request from them, and they'll give you anything. Perfect. Okay, so you're gonna get that glass of red wine. Then you're going to go greet the in-laws wherever they're at, and Kevin. Sweet, sweet Kevin. Every moment of your life has been building up to this moment, okay? Okay, perfect. I need you to bring all of that icing yourself energy to this, this task right here. Uh -huh. Okay, so when Bridget finds the in-laws, I want you to run up behind her, pick her up, and spin her around real fast, okay? As if you've been looking for her, you had a task for her, and you were so excited that you were the one to find her before everyone else, okay? Can you do that? Perfect. Bridget, sweetie, I need you to focus. I need you to have your glass tilted 
outward, okay? Do not go spilling on yourself. This is the most important part. Do not spill that on yourself. I know that is asking a lot of you, but I am praying that your clumsiness is a cover for this. I just need you to not spill it on you. I need you to spill it on them, okay? So when Kevin grabs you, I need you to spray the red wine all over the apples. No, I don't care if it gets on both of them. Oh, I don't care that only one's in the outfit. The other one clearly knew about it, so that's guilt by association as far as I'm concerned. All right. Can I trust you two? I know, Kevin. Big, big, big moment. Get excited. Okay. Perfect. Go. Don't come back until you're successful. Listen, I don't care if you have to get three glasses of wine and three separate attempts to make this work. Just find a way to spill it on them. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Go. Go, beautiful people. Okay. Hopefully you don't mind if there's red wine in your photos or if they have to go get a different outfit. So, actually, that could work in your favor, because then the photographer might be like, Well, you're covered in red wine, so we actually don't want you in a lot of the photos. Sorry about ya. And then, poof, your photos magically don't have a lot of your in-laws in it. Oh. Well, that could work out so well. Hmm. Yeah. That could work. Okay. You look like you could use a drink. Do you want some bubbles, some champagne, do you want some wine, do you just want some water? What was the last thing you even... Have you gotten any food at all today? Well, I did manage to hunt down the circuitry board. They should be bringing that up sometime soon, okay? Okay. Here, give, give me a second. Yeah, hey, can I get a fruit full of that one? Thanks for that. All the way to the top, and do not be stingy. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, this is for you. I want you to drink that up. Okay. Okay, we gotta get that crying to stop. Um, okay, I'm just gonna, I'll set this over there. Drink it as you want it. <sighs> This is less about the in-laws and more about just the stress all kind of building and coming out all at once, isn't it? Yeah, okay, been there. Definitely been there. Um... Listen. As easy as it is to say, and as hard as it is to do, I need you to forget about the rest, okay? This day is supposed to just be about you and your spouse getting married. Yeah, I know. Like I said, easier said than done, but... Listen, they... All the rest of this. The flowers, the... Outfits, the photography. It's all extra. This is about you and your spouse. Or your soon-to-be spouse, anyway. You're supposed to be excited and happy. Okay, well, I gotta dry those tears. Hold on. Okay. Okay, if I... Alright, come here, you. No, I know. I know. You really made a mess of your face, huh? No. That wasn't supposed to make you cry for. It was supposed to make you laugh. Okay. There you are. Let's dry those tears. No need for those yet. The only tears you're supposed to cry today are happy ones, okay? Listen, I don't want those idiots to steal your joy for one second, okay? Listen. 
person, you and that soon-to-be spouse of yours, as annoyingly perfectly paired as you are, <laughs> this is the happiest I've ever seen you. You deserve a day to celebrate that, okay? Oh, you two really are so good together. Just like a little nauseating, but I'll deal. Who's eating it? Look up for me. He's gonna pat underneath there. You made your face all blotchy. <laughs> yeah, we both know how puffy it gets when you're crying. I'll get you fixed up though, don't start. Right, let me grab some Q-tips. I'm just gonna run them across the edge there. Hopefully clean up any residue. Alrighty. Yeah, no, I know this wedding day kit really came in handy. I mean, those Pinterest boards, man, they know what they're talking about sometimes. Okay, look up again. Okay, there we go. Oh, we'll get you looking right as rain. Can't have these eyes all puffy in the photos, can you? No, he picked a good egg. As crazy as their parents might be, they're a good one. I'm really happy for you. Just forget all the extra noise, okay? I mean, it's one day of your life, but it's supposed to be a really good one. Yeah, what's up? Okay. What? Could you maybe just like cover your ears for a second? What the heck do you mean? Okay. That's some next level. She hired her own florist? Don't worry, I... I got that. Um... Where's the event coordinator? Right. I would suggest finding the event coordinator and telling her from yours truly that if a single orange poppy is spotted anywhere on the premises, the only thing those flowers are supposed to be used for is for the mother-in-law's funeral. So, everyone better get on making sure that none of those flowers actually make it to the decor tables, okay? Listen, I am not above burying some bodies behind this venue. They have gone way too far. Okay, I need you guys to handle that so I can take care of them. And if you can't manage that, then I will send someone who can, okay? Okay, quick question. Who is the scariest between the bridesmaid and groomsmen? Okay. Did you get that? Yeah, put Morgan and Chad on it. No, I'm serious. Okay, tell Morgan that she has free reign I mean, you can tell Chad that too, but I feel like Morgan's gonna be better at this one. Yeah. Okay. Me 
maybe get some video evidence for later because I feel like that could be really funny to walk and like not frighten them. Okay, thank you. Orange poppies. Yeah. Yeah, aren't your colors like neutrals with gold? I mean, it could be a vibe. <laughs> now I know. We'll get them all removed. How much money do you think she wasted on getting orange poppies? Or why poppies? Why was that the thing? Well, yeah, obviously they're her favorite flowers, but why does that need to be at your wedding? That's the next level. You guys are like moving away from them right after this, right? <laughs> if you're not, I feel like you should start looking. Jeez, okay. Where was I? Okay. Tell you what, man. You must really love them to put up with all this. Tell me this is the worst they've ever been. Okay, at least that's some comfort. You were about to tell me this is child's play compared to some of the other things that they've pulled. I was about to tell you to run. Your, uh... Your SO. How... How do they handle it? When their parents are like this? Well, that's good. It's good to know they've got your back. I know a lot of people really struggle standing up to their parents or their spouses, or soon to be spouses. Oh, that's good. Like I was saying, you have a good egg there. I think they know how lucky they are to have you. Okay. So, I'm just going to clean up your face a bit because again you did get a little red and blotchy and you know what hold that thought i feel like you could use a sip after that poppy issue yeah i thought so here you go yeah drink up okay yeah it's pretty good stuff you guys picked well I'm just going to clean up your face. Just dip it in the powder here. No, I don't care if you don't typically use powder. Come on. I'm gonna make sure I'm not all blotchy and shiny. from the in-laws. How are you feeling? Feeling good? That's good. Be worried if you weren't. Well, this day will pass in the blink of an eye. Personally, I think the best part is waking up the next morning knowing it's all over <laughs> and you get to keep your person for the rest of your life. Seriously though, I'm really happy for you. You should take a moment to be happy for you too. Don't let all the chaos get to your head. Remember why you started all this craziness? It's a 
because you loved them. And you wanted to spend your life with them. And you're going to. I don't want the stupidity of others <laughs> take away from that joy. Easier said than done as well, but at least when you're thinking about it, it makes it a little easier. Honestly, even some of the bridesmaids and groomsmen <laughs> Man. You want a drink? You just about back to normal there. I mean, honestly, nothing can get any crazier than them showing up in the same outfit and ordering their own flowers for your wedding, so good news is the worst is over, and if anything else surprises us, just don't question if you can't find me for a bit. I'll be, uh, I'll be busy taking care of a few things. Well, like a few someones, but everybody needs a jerk. <laughs> you gotta have someone who's willing to be the bad guy for you, so that you can just sit and be happy and enjoy the peace. Face is good, hair is great, outfit stunning. Why don't I leave you alone for a bit? I don't know how many moments you're gonna get to yourself just to kinda chill, so I'll leave you alone for this one. I will go see how successful Bridget and Kevin were and check on the flower situation, and I'll be back in a bit, okay? Holler if you need anything. I get the feeling you won't. You got this, okay? Alrighty. Well, if I don't get the chance to tell you again before we head up for the ceremony, I'm so happy for you. <laughs>